Namaskar. Today we are going to learn fabric painting. So I have this uh, yellow color rubia cloth. I have some zero number brushes, triple zero brushes and one number brush. I'm using Fabricryl's fabric paints. So if paint becomes very thick, then we can mix water in it. But in fabric painting, we don't make the paint very dilute. Otherwise, it will smudge. It's always better to have a frame when we are painting. Put the cloth in the frame, embroidery frame, so that it will be tight and it is easy to paint. In such a way that it is getting mixed in it and little bit spreading down. Now the next is light blue. Mix it, the whole shade will change. Try to leave little outline so that it will be clear and press your brush and bring it here. So you can see the flow of colors. Now take the white from down, down to up. Okay, now again we are going to use very very light blue. This one, very light blue. One drop and we are mixing it. Our one petal is red. This is the flat brush. Many of you must be having. We will put half side or less than half only this much see only this much dark blue color then little bit of light blue color and then white color I will show you the brush here dark blue, light blue, white three colors are there dark blue light blue and white now i will move it from the dark blue side so in one chance only we can finish the whole pattern this is called one stroke painting and if you get mastery over it it's very easy and you can do very fast okay but you need time see blue and white hold them together here this is the bottom move them rotate take little more white my white is over in the brush and then slowly mix it your petal is ready it goes very fast with one stroke painting so that is how they are able to paint one sari in 3-4 days. See, otherwise it's very difficult. So, but I think right now you all can concentrate on 4 different brushes because you are not so expert. If you are expert, please try this method, one stroke painting. Okay, so I am spreading it. I may have to give second coat here. So once again, we are going in the same order. First number, we have taken this dark blue. And our patty is ready. Now as you can see here, white color is dried out. So I will take little one drop of white color and I will do it again but mixing has to be very gradual you may have to give many coats but mixing has to be done after every coating now we have used white so we have to use little bit of light blue then little bit of dark blue 
and again with light color we will mix it we'll keep on mixing unless we are satisfied because once it will dry then actually we have to give second coat so i will wait why don't you all try one or two packets and let's see if there is any problem please let me know i am here with you the color became excess here so i am removing the excess color I'm going in the same order dark blue So I uh, first I am going to show you what I, we will do here. I am planning to give a yellow color here. And we have to wait till it gets dry. Then we will give dots with maroon color or with We have to be very careful because yellow and uh, blue will immediately make green. here i'm giving two colors this and little bit of sap green and little bit of salt green you can choose your own color let me do two three leaves see i'm taking this green color yellow sorry okay 
I have marked a line with yellow, and it will be all wet on wet. So I have to be really fast. Shading is coming like this. See again, I'm doing same thing. Very very small strokes, but this time sideways. In flower, they were lengthwise. Isn't it? We got a pretty shape. Okay, now to give branches effect. Now let us do a, another side. So again, first is sap green. Now third color and again mixing. You have to be really slow. Extremely slow. Very less paint. Okay, and now I will take the yellow again, and just if you want, no need actually. Take it from here and extend here and extend. Now I will do this one. Please see again, and then I will teach you the branches. Here is the yellow. Should I tell you the side branches now? First layer I'm giving with yellow color. This is orange, so yellow won't be visible on it. Second layer I'm giving with sap green, leaving the yellow visible, little bit visible. Now third layer I will do with brown. So I have another brush for that. Fourth brush in my hand. Uh, this is Fevitril Indian Red Number no. Ten. Any brown you use, no problem. So all the three colors are visible. Take very less paint because leaves will uh, branches will look very bad if color smudges. In this way, we will paint all the flowers and leaves in our pattern. Please don't use too much paint. Use very little amount of paint. Otherwise, it will smudge or it will make a thick layer on the cloth, which can peel off later. I hope you like the tutorial. Thank you. Dhanyavad. Namaste.